Good morning, friends. Whether you are a student or a parent of a student or a teacher or a school administrator, I wish you a blessed beginning of the school year. I know some folks are going back today, others on Wednesday, others next week, or whatever the case is, but I know this is about the start of the school year. And I wanted to ask you, as we begin the school year, a very simple, but perhaps not so simple question. What does it mean to be an educated person? What does it mean to be an educated person? There are a lot of answers to that question. There's a lot of books written about that kind of question. But as you launch into your school year and you get sort of um, thrown into the fire as far as all of the different responsibilities, don't lose track of the big picture. And that big picture is that simple yet profound question of what does it mean for to me to be educated, for me to be formed, for me to be shaped in the right way? Does it mean that you are just a good cog in the wheel in the system uh, so that you can make money and, and, and produce um, good products for our society? Well, maybe that's part of it. Um, but I would say that the primary answer to that is we are called, because we were created, we are called to love and to be loved, okay? And that ultimately is what it means to be educated, okay? So if you do all of the other things, if you're a brilliant astrophysicist or whatever, but you do not have love, as St. Paul says, then it's just like a clanging symbol, something that just sounds really annoying because there's no love in it, all right? So choose love today. Choose love in your hearts, in your minds, whatever it is that you're doing, whether it's interacting with your students, with your fellow classmates, with your parents, with um, whoever you're interacting with. Choose love so that you can launch out on the path of what it means to be truly educated. Love you all today. May God bless everybody on this first day. Keep you safe. Keep you healthy and joyful. Through the prayers of the three hierarchs, uh, Gregory the theologian, John Chrysostom, and Basil the Great. Amen.